Hello! So, for our final project in my BTT class, we were asked to make an electronic portfolio with some work that we did throughout the year. Two things that I had done were both videos. One of them was a, about a Web 2.0 artifact. The other was a video artifact. Here are the links to both of them. And this would be the Web 2.0 artifact. Now, for the Web 2.0 artifact, I used each stage of the design cycle. The investigate, plan, design, create, and evaluate. It's, well, the investigate stage, I had to investigate a bit about Google Chrome, about, you know, some of the basic functions. For the plan, I had to plan the video, as you see here. The design, I had to, well, make the video. Same thing with create. The evaluate, I evaluate my performance during the video. I'll be honest with you, I could have done better with this video. Now, the other was a video artifact. This was done collaboratively, collaboratively, but I was the one who was uploaded, posted links, and did a little bit of minor adjusting editing and all that. Now, for this, uh, we used the plan and create. Uh, I had to plan how everything was going to be put together, and then, well, I created it. Now, two others are on Word. This is one of them. This is my research uh, document. It was for my computer for dummies earlier on in the year. A small little book showing everybody, you know, a little bit about this and that, you know, the typewriter. Basically, just a little book about technology, teaching you a little bit about it. Now, for this research document, I used the, well, investigate. I was to research all of these like buttons, checkbox, uh, the Usenet, Sebel Morse, the Telegraph, or the typewriter. Well, everything here, I'll just slowly go through it. You can get like a quick little understanding. Now, a project that I enjoyed working on and learned the most from. That would just happen to be a well, a small little website that I made. Now, I'll be honest, it's not necessarily the best. There are a lot better ones. But of course, making this website, I was to use HTML, HTML coding. And HTML, it's pretty much computer language, as you can see here, some of the things. Of course, I'll be honest with you, teaching yourself HTML, it's not exactly easy. A lot of fun, but not easy. Now, I used every part of the design cycle to make this. Investigate, plan, design, create, and evaluate. This was also my independent learning project. Now, a couple important things that I learned this year in my BTT class were, was teamwork. Working with people you've never even known who may be like across the world, but in this case in the separate class. And time management. Now, I was already relatively good with teamwork, okay? Never, you know, did squabble or argue that much. But this, <laughs> we did a lot of teamwork. It helped me open my eyes. It helped me become more of a team sort of guy, I suppose you'd say. And working with somebody else from somewhere else, <sighs> it's that's a bit of teamwork as well. It takes a bit of coordination as well. And time management. <laughs> I was never very good with managing like what to do, when to do it. I was always procrastinating. This class, it helped me out a lot. At least, well, I still do procrastinate, but not as much. I used to procrastinate till the very last day to work on a project. But now I normally just work on even <laughs> perhaps two days, three days before. As you can see, I still procrastinate, but it helped me a lot. And now, some advice for the next year, grade nines, who choose to do BTT. For those of you who choose to make a website for your independent learning project, and you choose to do HTML coding, there are a lot of other ways I know, okay? But HTML coding, it is a lot of fun to learn, a lot of fun to play around with. There are times you will get a little bit frustrated if it doesn't go your way, but it's still a lot of fun. And besides, it's almost like learning a third language, maybe even a fourth for you. But 
do not procrastinate until the last month to actually start working on it. I mean, look at mine. <laughs> you see it. I mean, I did say HTML coding is hard, but... Oh, I could have done a lot better, but I waited until the last month to do this. So, don't procrastinate. It pays off to work on your independent learning project months ahead. You have the entire year to work on it. Use it. <laughs> I paid for it dearly when I didn't.